Hello. Uh, before me is a 1986 Honda Magna 700. Uh, 85 and 86 were unique years for this uh, Magna. They changed the frame, they changed the wheels, the exhaust, they changed the engine in 86. Uh, they had made a number of changes across the board. And that relates to the crash guard how. Well, when they changed the engine in 86 and when they changed the frame in 85, uh, it meant that there had to be a different crash guard, or engine guard, highway bar, whatever you'd like to call it. So while these may interchange with the prior years, 82 to 84, uh, these are rather unique to 85 and 86. And we'll go on to the other side where you kind of see things a little better, or at least see why a little better. Now, for 85 and 86, this was the big difference between the two frames. The part of the radiator, they added a shutoff valve to help with uh, doing the valve adjustment. So you remove this panel, you turn that valve up, uh, which shuts off the coolant flow but, uh, through, that, through that pipe, down through the hose into the frame. But then you can dis, once that's shut, you can then uh, disconnect this hose from that valve and the coolant will stay in this hose and it will only trickle out just a tiny little bit, but then it will stop. Um, and that, that's a big deal because then you don't have to drain all the coolant and then you know, bleed all the air bubbles back out of the coolant once you're all done with the valve adjustment. Anyhow, for them to use this valve here, uh, they moved the coolant bung, which was originally up here, they moved it down. And then because of that, they had to relocate Part of the crash bar and you can tell because over on that side the, the the top loop ends where that mounting clamp is or whereas on this side they had to move that mounting clamp down so that, that's kind of the main difference between between this one and what you would see on an 82 to 84. Um, but you can tell because the honda line ones you know, the genuine, genuine Honda ones will say this on one side. They will be stamped MK3. That is the code for the 8586 Magna 700s. I believe it's MBO or MB2 for the earlier Magna 700s and some 50s. You know, the, the 82 to 84. If I'm wrong, I will say so in the description. But I believe that is the case. Um, I'll also write down this one in the description so you can see them all side by side. And I do have other videos on the other Honda line ones for the other years of the Magna. Um, but, yep, these these fit in quite simple. And these are the better, better crash cards to have. Um, these Honda ones are pretty nice. They don't look great, but they do look good. And they function quite well. So I'll grab this here. And we'll prop it up. This is how they kind of look like once they're installed. You can see the, you know, it just bolts on like so in these three locations. Here on the on the subframe, as I like to call it, of the bike. Down here, also part of the subframe of the bike, the lower uh, horizontal rail. And then, of course, on the right side, it's very much like this. And then once you have this held up there, it's just the number of three clamps to bolt in. Just these guys. There's a little one for the lower. It goes right there. And then there's these two larger ones, which are offset. And they go on the two ends, like so. And it installs quite easily. Um, if you want to change the starter motor, you do have to remove this. Um, otherwise, you can put in the exhaust with this in the way, and you can change it. You can adjust the valves with this in the way. And of course, if the engine ever has to be removed, this must be removed first. So that's about all there is to it. As you can see someone added highway pegs to these. Uh, that's what makes these really nice, actually. So it gives you a good place to mount highway pegs, because otherwise, it's very tight in there between the frame and the cylinder head. You know, the only pegs you'll actually fit in here uh, are usually only the Honda ones, and even those struggle. So it's always, it, it's usually best just to find the, uh, the Honda line bar, 
and then put whatever pegs you want on there for yourself. You can see these have extenders and everything. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, it, it, don't get these confused with the ones for the V65s. They look very similar, but the V65s are wider between this distance and this distance uh, by a good inch or so. Uh, so it may look the same, but again, you'll want to look for that stamping. MK3 is going to be for 85, 86. Uh, MBO, I think that's what it is, is going to be for the 82 to 84 uh, Magnas and uh, Sabres, I believe. Uh, and then I think the MB3 is the one for the V65s. Anyhow, I'll put them all in the description so you know which is which. Because they all look like this. They all function like this. Uh, they're all as effective as this. Um, but that code, that three-digit code, is going to be the telltale of which one is which. So, but we'll let you guys go, and happy hunting.